No, they're fine. was contacted by the local funeral director to hold a gravesite committal service at a small local cemetery with no family or friends. The preacher started early but quickly got lost, making several wrong turns. He arrived a half hour late. The hearse was nowhere in sight, and the workmen were already eating lunch. The pastor went to the open grave and found the vault lid already in place. Taking out his book, he read the service. As he was returning to his car, he heard one of the workmen say, Do you think we should tell him that's a septic tank? <laughs> <laughs> a little boy opened the big family Bible. He was fascinated as he fingered through the old pages. Suddenly something fell out of the Bible. He picked up the object and looked at it closely. What he saw was an old leaf that had been pressed between the pages. Mama, look what I found, the boy called out. What have you got there, his mother asked. With astonishment in the young boy's voice, he answered, I think it's Adam's underwear. <laughs> seven years. After the first seven years, the elders brought him in and asked him for his two words. Cold floors, he said. They nodded and said good morning. Seven more years passed, and they brought him in for his two words. He cleared his throat and said, bad food. They nodded and sent him away. Seven more years passed, and they brought him in for his two words. I quit. <laughs> they said, that's not surprising. You've done nothing but complain since you got here. <laughs> this is for the wives, such as myself. At the end of the age, when all the believers were standing in line waiting to get into heaven, God appeared and said, I want all the men to form two lines. One line will be for the men who are the true heads of their households. The other will be for the men who are dominated by their wives. <laughs> God said, I want all the women to report directly to St. Peter. The women left and the men formed two lines. The line of men who were dominated by their wives was seemingly endless. The line of men who were the true head of their households had one man in it. God said to the first line, you men ought to be ashamed of yourselves. I appointed you to be the head of your households, and you are disobedient and have not fulfilled that purpose. Then God turned to the lone man and said, Of all of you, there's only one man who obeyed. Learn from him. And God asked him, How did you come to be in this line? The man said, My wife told me to stand <laughs> church one Sunday morning. In the back of the closet, he found a small box containing three eggs and $101 bills. He called Janet into the closet and asked her how the box and its contents got there. Embarrassed, she admitted having hidden the box there for their entire marriage. Disappointed and hurt, Pastor Dave asked her why. <laughs> Janet replied that she hadn't wanted to hurt his feelings. He asked her how the box could have hurt his feelings. She said that every time during their marriage that he had delivered a poor sermon, she had placed an egg in the box. Pastor Dave felt that three poor sermons the whole time they had been married was certainly nothing to feel bad about, so he asked her what the $100 bills, the hundred dollars was for. She replied, each time I got a dozen eggs, I sold them to the neighbors for a <laughs>